Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a quick review of my new Canon camera bag. I should say it's new. I've had about two weeks. I wanted to use it pretty good before I came out and made an opinion on it as I usually do. So here it is. Let's jump right into it. Okay, you can see here's the bad boy. I'm going to lay it out and open it up. But I just want to get the particulars out of the way and obviously not sponsored by Canon. I wish I was. And we bought this at B&H and not sponsored by them either. So let me open this up and show you what we got. Okay, so the first thing is obviously this is like where you could put a big uh, water bladder, water bottle type thing. I use it for my Joby. Works good. Stays put. You can tighten it down. You got these tight ends here with a pocket on each side and I gotta say everywhere in this bag that has velcro it is crazy good they don't just put like a little strip they put a, a generous piece on there and it really holds this side is the same exact thing got a holder got a nice pocket now that we got this out of the way we can open this. Now all the zippers have these cool little tabs which you might think doesn't mean much but it really does. It makes it easier to open. So this is where I usually put my wallet and my cell phone so I can get to it without having to open the whole thing but right now I just got like a battery charger and cable and stuff. But you can see it goes way down. All the zippers obviously work really nice. I'll call this to your attention. See how the zipper is here? They have this flap that covers all the zippers, the two main zippers, I should say, to keep the rain off of them. So if you want to open it, you kind of just you can pull back the flap, and then you're good to go. So. Here. You've got a generous compartment. This is where I keep my own. I think I got some. They, they're deep. They go way down. Batteries. Got another one over here. Of course, here you get SD cards. You know, it's nice. It, it keeps things snug, you know. Everything here is snug. So, right? Good velcro really holds it. Here I don't know, like I guess you could hook keys. I'm not exactly sure what that's about. Now here you can see this is generous. Usually I have the ADD tucked in here with the big lens there. And you can strip. This is what's cool. Everything you can customize on this. Like I say, I'm not trying to sell the thing, I'm just seeing how it is. You can really customize all these flaps are really in there good but if you want them if they're just velcroed see i mean they are in there but they do come out so you can move them velcro all the way down both sides and it so you can customize your bag for the different size stuff you can and it wants to grab and when it does grab, it does not move. I got my little blower in here. I got some macro lens. I got my G7. That's where I usually put my road, which I'm using. But I got that kit there, so that fits in real nice there. More lens room. The sides are nicely padded. The back is really nicely padded. Like I say, it was worth 40 bucks. In my opinion, 40 bucks. A lot of backpacks will cost you 40 bucks, I would think. I mean, I saw one that was on Amazon. It was like 10 bucks cheaper, but it didn't seem nearly as nice. So here, these are decently zippered. You can see with the mesh what you've got in there. So all in all, I'd say the storage is pretty good. 
the construction's good. I mean, the thing looks like new. We take it out in the woods all the time. It's always being dragged on by, you know, different trees, vines, whatever. Yeah, it just really wears pretty good. Now on the bottom, this is where you can see, I guess, if you have a, I'm using a tripod right now, but you can uh, carry a tripod like this or whatever you want. Same kind of buckling as the side one. So this is what goes against your back here. It's highly cushioned, so you're not getting poked. The straps are generous, wide, and generously padded. So all in all, for the money, I'm giving it the old guy thumbs up for sure. Um, a lot of times when you buy like branded stuff, it's not always all that. I mean, obviously Canon makes a decent camera, but are they just gonna, you know, try to make money on the on their name and the big? In this case, I don't think so. I think it, this has really worked out well. Ben and I both put all of our gear in there, tripod, I can put my wallet, my phone, car keys, all in one bag. It's pretty nice, I guess. Say, let me know what you guys think. Yay or nay in the comments. I always like to hear your opinion. Till next time, we'll see us.